All right, hello everybody, Peter here. Peter draws. Look, so I'm messing around with this tablet again, doing some digital drawing, something I don't have much experience with. So I wanna start out by saying, if you do, if you are a person who has any amount of experience with digital art at all, um, you know, if you've done this before, you might wanna look away now. If, you know, if you've done any drawing with Photoshop or, you know, GIMP, GIMP is a cool acronym, by the way. If you don't know what GIMP stands for, it stands for um, GNU, Image Manipulation Program, I think. And then GNU is a recursive. Wait, did I say the other one was recursive? GNU stands for GNU is not Unix or something like that. So it just keeps on. Rec Anyways, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, so if you've done any digital drawing, even if some point in your life, whether you were bored at home or at school. I did this a lot at school, actually. So I don't know if I'm kind of including myself in this, you know, pulled up Microsoft Paint and just started, you know, drawing little nothings, little stick figures, doodling away in Microsoft Paint. If you have any experience with digital, digital art, then you probably want to go ahead and look away now because you probably notice all sorts of things that I'm doing wrong. Not necessarily that I'm doing wrong, but perhaps that I could be doing better like like i'm sure pretty much the whole time i was draw drawing here i'm using uh the tablet again and, and i'm using a tablet and i'm using photoshop the, the huey on tablet they sent me and uh, pretty much the whole time i was drawing working with this i was thinking wow there's probably a better way i could be doing this probably some other hot keys i could be using some you know like shift you know control shift escape f1 w3 or, and uh or so, that probably does something useful or some combination of layers, masking, windows, this, that. There's, you know, there's just the sheer, just the fact that there's so many. Um, there's probably a zillion hours of tutorials just on drawing with Photoshop on the internet. There's a lot of stuff out there. And I've probably watched like one or two hours of tutorials and not even all at once, just kind of scattered about. Just when I really needed to learn how to do like one little thing. Like, so I, I am using layers a little bit here. Um, I'm using layers a little bit, just which is that's that's the main difference I've noticed between drawing, you know, on paper and drawing um, here digitally is that I can draw, I can now draw underneath things and then move those layers around, which is which is pretty cool. I like that. That's a big that's a big difference. And I use a little bit of masking layers. I almost said masking tape, not masking tape, but masking layers. I probably wasn't doing them right. That's that's fine. Anyway, so if you know if you do know what you're doing, uh, this is this could be potentially frustrating to watch because I was probably doing everything wrong or doing it the hard way, you know, walking right by shortcuts and taking the long cuts instead. That's fine. All, but this is one of those things I'm convinced where uh, you just got to do it a lot. You just got to you know it, it, take the long cuts a few times before you take the shortcuts because if you take the shortcuts right off the bat, then you won't know what you're missing or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, I do remember drawing. I do have a little bit of experience. I do remember messing around with, with Microsoft Paint a lot when I was little. One of the coolest things I ever discovered how to do was using the selection tool. You could select little things that you'd already drawn, like a little chunk, scribble a bunch of lines, and then using the selection tool, just make a little selection, and then you could like shift drag the selection around. And you could you're essentially creating your own brush and you can make really cool shapes. Maybe I'll do a drawing with Microsoft Paint sometime. But Microsoft Paint has has changed so much. I, I kind of want the old version of Microsoft Paint back again. I wonder if I can get that back again. Then, you know, the new version that's on like, on like the, the fresh versions of Windows, or it's too fancy. I mean, you can save save images in PNG. I, I, I miss being able to save only in bitmap. That was nice. And I have this weird, this weird memory of hmm of of drawing on my drawing with Microsoft Paint on my dad's old computer in his office when I was a little kid and for some reason this version I think it was Microsoft Paint it might have been some old different paint program but it was only in black and white and instead of having a little palette there of different colors there were a palette of different I mean it was only in black and white so there was no grayscale but to accomplish kind of the same feeling as grayscale. There was a little, a little palette of different kind of patterns and textures you could choose from to achieve the same, um, the same sort of, sort of deal. I can't think of the word I was, I'm, I'm, 
I'm pretty good at not being able to think of the words I need at the right moment. But anyways, I always thought that was kind of cool. Like there was like a little, like different versions of different checks and cross hatches and, you know, checkers. Not checkers, kind of like the game checkers, but yeah. I remember doing that. But now I can't like find any pictures of that online. Maybe it was all in my imagination. Someone else tell me if they remember that black and white version of Microsoft Paint. So, so I know I'm not going crazy too much. Anyways, um, I had a fun time doing this digital drawing, even if it didn't turn out like I wanted. It's, it was just, This is just another one of those things when you switch mediums, when you've been doing one medium so long, I've put so many hours into doing you know, pen and ink drawings. I feel so comfortable with it. I mean, I still can't do everything I want with pen and ink by a long shot, but then, but then you switch to another medium like digital and then you feel, you know, you feel hamstrung. You can't do anything. So it's a big adjustment. So you, you really just got to put in the hours though, get back up to where you were in another medium. But uh, I hope you know what I mean. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I love you and goodbye. Goodbye.